Hey everybody, Neil here. Welcome back to the Weekly Source. Hope you're having a great start to May. Um, with it being May, it is actually Mental Health Awareness Month. So I want to go through kind of mental health um, and some of the benefits that, that teams are actually incorporating for their employees and, and how brokers can help their teams throughout the month and, and initiate new programs, things like that. So first piece for you, one in five, that's the uh, amount of folks today that are dealing with some sort of mental illness, and that's just directly, I mean indirectly, if it's somebody you know, um, working with them, family member, things like that. So it does affect more than just the person dealing with the mental illness. And it was primarily, you know, or historically rather, a, a taboo topic, one we didn't really talk about too much, but uh, recent, recent data has shown that 72% of employees actually want their employer to champion mental health. So support them, talk about them, give them the resources. So what does that mean for you? How can you take away uh, and actually bring it uh, to your teams today? The first is mandating or holding regular check-ins. So historically, it was once a year, you check in with an employee, see how they're doing, what are their goals, you know, and what are their plans for the next year. Having some sort of regular cadence, especially as more workers are remote, uh, is just a much better way to gauge how they're doing real time. I mean, we can all agree some of the worst managers are an absent manager, or one that doesn't check in with you. Um, so think about how you would want your employees to be treated. And if it's a scheduled program uh, that you're putting in place, it makes it a lot easier. The second is offer your managers training. So again, if you're gonna have more touch points, um, make sure that they're trained to, to have those types of conversations. If it is something in lines with mental health, train the managers to either get them to the right resources um, or just provide them in those touch points, those weekly touch points as well. Third is encouraging a work-life balance. So there's actually a stat where folks with a longer commute, and it was really just an hour, over an hour commute, had a higher propensity of dealing with depression, uh, which is a bit of an alarming statistic when you think of how long some of our commutes are today. So having that flexibility to either let somebody go out early or if they have an appointment to head out for them, um, those really aren't the battles that, that we need to fight and hold people to, uh, making sure that there is flexibility that people can get out and, and manage that work-life balance. The other types of benefits, it could be an employee assistance program in EAP, one that you might have today, which is really an aggregate of whether it's financial wellness, uh, mental health, things like that, resources that they can go to. So if you don't have one today, uh, worth looking into. Uh, parental leave is another one. So just saw an article last week of Hewlett Packard bumping up their parental leave to six paid months. Uh, so companies are, are initiating more and more paid time off for parental leave. Financial wellness is another one. We know the stressors of dealing with student loans, um, things like that, managing our retirement funds. So that's always one that can help with folks managing a mental illness. We talk about it more, so we've got 10 uh, benefits that your teams can incorporate today. So check out our blog, 10 Employee Benefits for Better Mental Health, uh, one that's up there that's gotten some good traction already. Uh, but my question for you is, is whether you're an employee or an HR or a broker, um, what are some programs that you're seeing today that are effective, uh, whether it's for you that are, are you know, dealing with something or you're seeing coworkers and family friends that uh, it seems to be effective for them. So I want to make sure we're having the conversation uh, and, and that you feel like it, it's something we can talk about. So thanks so much for stopping by this week, and we will see you next week on The Weekly Source.